Reddit, what's the worst time you've walked in on someone? Walked into my brother room saw him wearing a women's thong while sniffing a women's bra. He's doing it backwards. Comma women's bra. Is there a different kind of bra? Edit. My first gold. Thank you kind stranger. Walked in on my roommate just as he was coming. He was helpless. Spurts flying up over his chest. Pretty spectacular but just a touch awkward. Walked in on my girlfriend masturbating. Before she was my girlfriend. It wouldn't have been an issue for me. I saw your clunge. Now we must be together forever. Walked in on my brother with cotton fever. If you don't know what that is. That's a good thing. I learned that day. It's when someone shoots heroin and gets the cotton fibers in their bloodstream. It caused him to shake severely and throw up a lot. He claimed it wasn't dangerous. But it scared me forever. Of course it's not dangerous. It involves heroin. Not a SX story. But it was by far the worst thing I have ever walked in on. Growing up my brother and I would play a prank on each other where we would put ourselves in a situation to fart in each other's faces. For example. He would be taking a poop in our bathroom that had a sliding pocket door right in front of the toilet. I would sling the door open and fart because his face would be pretty close to my butt. It was all fun and games. Then one day my brother yells at me from his room asking if I want to play N64 with him. Of course I did so I fling open his door to play only to see him standing on a chair. With his naked ass right in my face. His timing was impeccable. His sphincter control was not. He shouted all over my face. I was in the shower in about 5 seconds. He was on the floor laughing. My parents refused to believe that he crapped all over my face until he finally admitted it at my wedding a couple of years ago. Edit. I walked into a room to find my friend being shared by two guys. The problem was. The bloke following me into the room was her boyfriend. One day when I was very young my dad called for my mom from their bedroom. She was outside gardening when he was called for her. So I relayed the message that he needed her for something. She didn't want to stop what she was doing and told me to go ask my dad what he wanted. When I opened the door to my parents room I found my dad sprawled out naked on the bed with a hard on. I took one look and immediately booked it out of there and made sure to never enter my parents room without knocking and announcing myself first. In response to those suggesting incest. Nobody wants to help poor old dad. When I was young, maybe 4 or 5, I was hungry for some mac and cheese. I didn't know how to make it myself. So I walked into my parents room to ask them to make some for me. When I walked in, they were under the blankets moving around a lot and making noise. So in order to not be impolite and interrupt them, I just sat at the foot of the bed and drew pictures of flowers until they finished. Parents were mortified. But I got my mac and cheese. Walked in on a guy crying while wiping his ass. He was squatting on the toilet and shouted stop stop looking at me without even looking at me. Ran the hell out of the house. Context. I've told this story countless times. I roll and on here. And I'm telling it once more. My friend, friend 1, invited friend 2 and I over to his house one day. He wasn't home yet but left the door unlocked for us to hang out inside until he came home. Friend 2 and I make our way inside and head up the stairs. Upon going up. We start to hear soft weeping. We both look at each other quizzically and proceed with caution. The weeping led us to the bathroom where the door was cracked open a bit. We peeked in. Moving the door. And saw what was described. This was friend 1's roommate and we don't know what his deal was. According to friend 1. This wasn't a case of diarrhea. His roommate has some type of ass wiping fetish addiction. No idea why he was crying. Saw my mom on all fours while my dad was finger blasting her. I was about 9 and it's still crystal clear in my mind. Shouldn't your dad have your username? My ex's mum walked in to find her daughter bent over her bed with my hands holding her mouth open like one of those dentist tools while I went at it doggy style. As kids. We played hide and seek on rainy days. 
It was my turn to be it so they hid and I counted to 100. I checked every upstairs room but the bathroom and I opened the door when I heard something inside and discovered my friend's mom taking an aggressive bathroom break. Things were awkward for a while with my friend's mom afterwards. My cousin uses the bathroom with the door open. I walked into the basement to get a can of soup to cook. I turned my head briefly and full on saw her naked on the toilet. We did not talk for a few hours after that. Too busy doing something else? We were meant to be having a meeting with security to get yelled at for hosting bitch and beer pong events. Also, noise complaints. And one of our flatmates crazy Dave. He called himself, wasn't responding to our knocking on his door. So my friend decided to see if Dave's door was unlocked. And it was. It was. Crazy Dave was right there in front of the door. Lying naked on a yoga mat. Emsturbating furiously. When he heard the door open he leapt up. Giving us a good look at his crazy cock. While screaming. Never come in my room. You should never come in my room. Like. Yeah. Dave. I'm getting that impression. Only Dave can come in his room apparently. I got walked in on. I was in middle school and there was a box of wet wipes that had a little rubber slot where you could pull the wipes out off. Being a horny little kid. I pulled the lid off of the wet wipes box and stuck my erect penis through it. My mom came home suddenly and saw me with my dick through he lid. Sitting on the couch watching PRN and let out a scream. She closed the door. Waited a minute and came back in. It was never mentioned again. I work in IT and I walk in on my friends and family members with computer and cell phone issues all the time. I went to tell my brother that someone we went to high school had passed away and walked in on him jacking off. Now I can't think about that classmate without also thinking about my brother M sturbating. They're forever linked in my mind. Walked in on my. That sounds so awkward. Why couldn't she have just handed it over to him? So my friend headed back to his dorm room from a party. He told me to come back later and smoke with him. After a while. I went back to his room. Knocked on the door. There was no answer. I figured he was asleep and would want me to wake him up and the door was unlocked. So I just walked in. The lights are all on and there he is. Lying in his bed. Passed out. With his pants around his ankles and a handful of what I thought was whipped cream. I took one look. Said no thanks and walked out. I had no idea what he was up to in there. The next day I found out that he had gone into the room. Started to undress but passed out. Another mutual friend found him that way. Put some shaving cream in his hand and tried to tickle his nose so he would smash it into his own face. But he was so passed out that he didn't do it. So the guy just left him there. Perhaps the worst time I walked in on someone was on the Wednesday before Easter when I opened the door to the church sacristy and found the flower delivery team, boy and girl, making out. Fortunately, they still had some of their clothes on. So no big deal. But I could tell they were embarrassed to be caught there. In church. Making out between the lilies and tulips by the organist. If you hadn't walked in. There would have definitely been two lips and an organ. Walked in on my brother and his friend squeezing into my old prom dresses and dancing to Britney Spears. He looked at me. Laughed. Flipped on a blonde wig and sang hit me baby one more time. Into a hairbrush. I legit didn't know he was gay until he came out a year later. I'm not sure who should be more embarrassed. My sister putting my dag's farts in a bag and then sniffing them. I decided to join. Good times. Edit. Sweet Christmas. Reverse. I was the one walked in on. By my 5 years old son. He will be posting this story on here in about 10 years or so. Wife on top of me. Riding hard. With my hands grabbing her butt hard w a fingertip in her ass. When we heard someone giggling hysterically. We forgot to lock the door and realized my oldest son was basically standing at the end of the bed trying to process what he had seen. I sent him out of the room. Locked the door. Finished. Then had a little talk with him. 
dead on top of mom with her legs pinned by her ears. I was about 6. Have vague memories about it. I was told later that I apparently asked why he was jumping like a frog on her. When leapfrog goes wrong. Walked into my friend jacking it to furry prn. Sorry about your ended friendship. Dad eating my mum out in the kitchen. Got told to fck off. My sister walked in on my parents having sx in her bed. Just went to my room crying haha. The fck is wrong with your parents? That's disgusting and it's like they wanted to be caught. In her bed. A realtor was showing me a condo for sale in a building downtown. Construction on the property was not quite finished. And the only entrance exit was the door to the alley. After touring the property. She opened the door to go out and right in front of us was a construction worker receiving a mouth hug from a prostitute. The realtor gasped. I said. Is that included in the monthly condo fees? College. Had a friend who was substantially older than the rest of us. Plenty more life experience than we did. Anyways, fast track to sophomore year and we were all getting shitted and about to hit a club when I noticed that he isn't anywhere to be found. Hit up his room. But the door is closed. Which is unusual for him. Pop it open right quick and there he is, buck ass naked on his computer. Furiously. Playing wow. In pitch darkness. As he notices the light seeping in. He casually turns to me and says wanna raid? When I asked him why in the FCK he was in his birthday suit. He simply replied well I just jacked off. Didn't feel like getting dressed again. You know? And that's when I noticed the lube on his desk. Next to a giant butt plug. He gave me a yeah you know what happened here stare and I swiftly excused myself thereafter. To be fair. He did catch me balls deep in my now wife a few days later. And just blurted out yo. One finger. Second knuckle towards the belly button to her. Guy FCKS. A friend of mine was using the shower at our house one day before we all left. And as the water was running I meant to open the door to let him know we were leaving. And when I opened the door he immediately shouted. I I'm jerking off in here he was apparently using the shower noise as a front. And I honestly didn't know he was yanking it at first so he probably could have gotten away with saying he was pooping. Funny story. I walked in on my eldest brother waxing the dolphin to god knows what. I just swung open the front door. And there he was shaking hands with the one-eyed milkman. I understand that when you're startled. Sometimes you blurt out nonsense. But as I came through the front door and both of us had a moment to register what was going on. He jumped and yelled okay. And at the same time I came out with alright. Then shut the door. I was like 8 years old. It was the day after Christmas and I had gotten a complete season of Simpsons on DVD which I was getting up extra early to binge watch all day. Couldn't find it anywhere. Realized my sister and her BF must have taken it to watch in her room. I thought I'd sneak in and grab it without waking them. Well they were awake already and I when I opened the door I was greeted by the sight of my sis riding her BF. Still snatched my Simpson DVDs and went to watch it all day. Took a couple of days before they talked to me. Still worth it. I was in Ryan College. And one of our responsibilities was to make sure everyone left the building during a fire drill. The alarm goes off. And I make my rounds using my master key to check each room. I knock and open a room where PRN is blasting from the TV. And in the blue and red glow I see the kid is fast asleep on his bed. Drooling. Butt ass naked. Dick in his hand. Deciding that chances were slim that this was a real fire. I said nothing and backed out slowly. Working in a Van Scatterpark retail store. I had a manger that was in his early 40s. He was always talking about how hot some of these high school girls that came into the store were. Well. One night. Me and a couple employees stayed after close and were skating while the manager finished up for the night. I went to get my bag out of the shoe stock room and caught him licking the arsehole of one of the sales girls, definitely still in high school, who was on all fours on top of a half pallet of shoes. They did not hear me open the door or see me grab my bag 
or hear me close the door. 10 or so minutes later. She comes out of the stockroom. Followed by the manager maybe 5 minutes later. We never made mention of the event to each other. Just went on like I didn't see shti. I'm pretty sure they got married a couple years later. Probably when she became legal. Not worse but funniest. Early 80s. USS Forrestal cutting circles in the Mediterranean. I'm second in line for a shower and the guy who's next is pacing like he's got somewhere to go. Finally he can't wait any longer. Yells damn it Gary you've been in there 20 minutes and pulls the curtain open exposing Gary in midstroke. Gary calmly looks up and in the most laid back Gainesville. Fla. Draw says. If you'll excuse me I'll wash my DK as hard and fast as I want. Reaches up. Pulls curtain closed. My uncle asked me to stop at his house to get some tools. New Year's Eve years ago. Doing my girlfriend doggy style and the lock on the door apparently didn't do much. Girl walked in looking for her bag. Got a nice shot of my hairy ass going to town. Worst best part of it I was climaxing and she walked in and panicked and ran out. She was mortified. I was happy at a clam without a care. Neighbor is downstairs on my couch. I'm upstairs. He's like family do we don't mind. His girlfriend's over. I hear some noises through watching twitch and a closed door. I go down there to see cause I opened my door and it started getting muffled. I go downstairs and I see him and his gf trying to get dressed. Both still very much naked. I'll never forget the sight. The smell. My wife was giving our daughter a bath at the time she wasn't even one yet. I was in the living room watching television. I heard yelling so I went to check on what happened. Our daughter apparently decided the bathtub was a good place to poo. The gross mushy baby kinda poo. I walked into my daughter throwing it around the bathroom. A decent amount seemed to have hit my wife who was half screaming half laughing at the time. I'm not sure if she was having a mental breakdown or was joking. But she then threw some of it at me. Hit me dead in the chest. And told me to help her clean up. TL. A guy violently jerking off to Asian PRN in the server room at my old job. In college. I was in a fraternity. And lived in a house full of frat guys. Not the official house. But close enough. We had an alumni weekend. So half a dozen guys crashed with us on whatever couches and spare mattresses we had. At some point on Sunday morning. I fell asleep. With the party still going on downstairs. I woke up a few hours later with a hell of a hangover and went downstairs to get some water. Walked in on a scene I'll never forget. House was trashed. But that's normal. One of the alumni hooked up with some sorority girl on a bare mattress in our living room. They fell asleep mid-act. She was on top and I'm pretty sure he was still inside her. Being a bro. I didn't wake them. But had to walk over them to get to the kitchen. As I gingerly stepped over them. Something rolled onto my foot. A meatball. I soon realized they had basically showered in a 5 pound bag of frozen meatballs. Which were now thawing. I got my water and went back to my room. Too early to deal with that shti. Came home early from work one day to roommate blasting really loud music upstairs. Headed up to say hi. He usually has music up loud when he cleans. Get to the top of the stairs and get a full view of him and two friends just going at it. Roommate was on his knees. Face down in my rug. Taking it from the guy who sold me my bed. While friend 2 was rotisserie stick B. Hands on hips. One of the friends sees me and starts cheering. Then all three look at me and continue. I just went downstairs and left. Headed across the road to a cafe until the music died down. This was about 8 years ago. I still have my roommate's sweaty face smile and wink at me pop into my head when I'm not expecting.